This is Al Jazeera. These are the top stories. The U.S. House of Representatives has passed a bill to suspend the nation's debt ceiling and avoid a catastrophic default. It still requires approval in the Senate as well as a presidential signature. Alan Fisher has got more from Washington, D.C. It was back in January that Janet Yellen, the Treasury Secretary, said the United States was getting close to a point where it couldn't pay its bills. She said on Jan June the 5th that money would run out. So if there had been a debt default, it would have caused catastrophic economic harm in the United States and by extension through the global economy. So this is a win for the moment for Joe Biden, for Kevin McCarthy and for the US and global economies. But there's still going to be a few more dramas to play out. But that's for another day on Capitol Hill. For tonight, everyone seems to be celebrating. More explosions have been reported in Ukraine's capital, Kyiv, following Russian airstrikes. At least three people have been killed, including two children. The city's mayor, Vitaly Klitschko, has urged people to stay inside shelters. The United States is suspending military exercises with Kosovo, accusing it of escalating tensions with its Serb minority. Ethnic Serbs in northern Kosovo have been protesting against ethnic Albanian mayors being elected in a vote that Serbs had boycotted. It's been seven days since hundreds of miners were trapped in a gold mine in southern Ghana. More than 100 of them have been rescued so far. Several have been arrested for allegedly working underground illegally. At least 199 more are still believed to be inside the mine.